Near Octaha in eastern Oklahoma, at the New Hope Rodeo Arena, the annual Walker Family Easter Egg Hunt. It's the first event at a unique little community rodeo that's been going on at the Walker Family Ranch for the last 40 years or so. You're in New Hope, Oklahoma, and we're having a rodeo. Traditional rodeo, we have it every Easter. It's been going on for at least 40, 40, 45 years now. Every Easter Sunday after church services, the community gets together and have a, just a ranch rodeo. It's been sponsored by my family, the Walker family, for a number of years now. He's at one rep, two reps. Hey, this is Mike. The thing that makes us uh, different, I think, is the crowd that we have here. I mentioned earlier that we're a very diverse uh, rodeo operation and we've been that way for years and that's one of the things that we're proud of so that's the thing I think that separates us from so many other ones all right what do you see what do you see and away we go what's going on you can let me have it hey what are you doing Every year, there are hundreds of rodeos like this scattered across Oklahoma. It's where a lot of young cowboys begin their rodeo careers, and older cowboys prolong theirs or just participate to have some fun. I've been coming to New Hope here Easter Sunday for probably the last 40 years. And all my kids, I have six kids, and they're all rodeo people. And then... I'm bringing my grandkids on to be rodeo people. This is my baby boy. He's 13th in the world right now, plus he's a stock contractor. He, he brings bulls to rodeos and all, and he's one of the youngest stock contractors. He's been doing it since he's 13. I'm, I've got my IPRA card, and I have also ride bulls, and I raise them to practice off of. And today I'm bullfighting to help my fellow, fellow bull riders to kind of help them out so they don't get hurt. It's just you got to save the bull rider, you keep, keep them away from them, they do their job, bull does their, just make sure you keep them out of the way, kind of put your life in, you know, the bull rider's hands and stuff. The work called, they're called, bull fighters are called the cowboy lifesavers because they, they're the one to keep the bull away from you, keep them from coming back and hooking you. And if your hand gets hung up, turned the wrong way, right, you, right. you're the one who jumps up there and gets your hand out. Well, I'll tell you what, that young cowboy rode some of the hell off of him. Well, basically 50, uh, 50 points is on the bull, 50 points is you, and uh, you got to stay on eight seconds. You ride him for eight seconds, you cover the bull, and hope the next guy behind you doesn't do as good. So you can only use one hand. The other hand, you got to keep it up in the air. You can't touch the bull or anything like that, or you get eliminated. You use it for your balance. You get a hold of a bull that's 2,500 to 3,000 pounds or even more. Something about pure excitement of beating that bull for eight seconds. There you go, son. Hey, son, there you go. You're looking good, son. Sure. 